We are continuing to closely monitor 3I Atlas, an interstellar object. The size of Manhattan Island, believed to be a comet that is slowly approaching Earth, recently updated images show that the object appears to have lost its tail, sparking new theories. In the scientific community, some researchers believe that this could be a sign that 3I Atlas is not a comet, but a spacecraft controlled by aliens. In less than six weeks, the object will make its closest approach to our planet. While many are scrambling to find answers, theoretical physicist Avi Loeb, a professor at Harvard, has called on NASA to release the latest images of 3I Atlas he shared this in an interview with us last week. According to Loeb, the clearest image of 3I Atlas was taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO on October 2, but due to the U.S. government shutdown, the data has not been released. He commented that it is a pity that politicians let internal disagreements hinder scientific progress so what does all this mean for humanity on Earth? To find out and give a scientific perspective, today's program is joined by Dr. Mikio Kap, world-renowned physicist, co-founder of Springfield String Theory, and author of the book Quantum Supremacy, the quantum computing revolution that will change everything. Dr. Kaku, thank you for coming on the program. And now, let's start the conversation. We are still waiting for the latest images to come back from Spain. Some people think that the object seems to have lost its tail after flying past the sun. So what does that mean? Does the lack of a tail prove that this is not a comet? In my opinion, this is a very ancient object, possibly up to seven billion years old. During that enormous amount of time, it has had the opportunity to accumulate a variety of materials and cosmic dust, which makes its nickel content and chemical composition different from that of a typical comet. I believe that it is the accumulation of elements and gases through various environments over billions of years that has created the unusual features we are observing. This also explains some of the mysteries surrounding this object that have been discussed so much Interestingly, when I was on a flight a few days ago, I overheard some passengers talking about this comet. The host asked me if I would turn around and introduce myself as, hello, I am Dr. Mokaku, one of the leading experts on this subject, and this is my opinion. I smiled and said, no, I didn't say that, but I would be happy to share my thoughts. Well, in my opinion, this is a seven billion year old comet, and that is why it is completely different from ordinary comets. For example, comets in our solar system are usually only three to four billion years old. This object is much older. It has had a lot of time to accumulate dust and space debris. One of its most striking features is that it has a different ratio of iron to nickel than the average comet which makes it very special in the eyes of scientists. We're still waiting for updated images of this object from NASA. This week, Representative Anna Paulina Luna said that those images won't be released until the government reopens. Do you think NASA is trying to hide something? It sounds reasonable. After all, they have nothing to lose. It's just a piece of paper not a top secret document that needs to be kept in a safe. Keeping information like this will only fuel more speculation. And at some point, it will backfire. We've been closely monitoring 3I Atlas for months, noting some pretty unusual signs and behavior. So what are the chances that this is not just an ancient object, but something of extraterrestrial origin? I think it's very unlikely. Three, I Atlas looks and behaves like a regular comet with a few small differences. So keeping this information secret and not sharing it with the American public is unnecessary. The people have a right to know 
Meanwhile, Harvard professor Avi Loeb believes that 3i Atlas may be accelerating as if it is starting its engine. I think it is possible, but it needs to be considered based on probability and concrete evidence. Avi Loeb himself is very cautious when saying that the possibility is quite low. And we should understand that these are still just speculative hypotheses. Nothing has been proven with certainty. 3 IATLAS has now been added to the International Asteroid Warning Network to help Earth prepare for any potential threats from space. The object is expected to make its closest approach to Earth on December 19, at a distance of about 167 million miles, which is just a few weeks away. As for whether we should be worried, I think it is unnecessary. This object is still very far away. There is absolutely no risk of collision or harm to Earth. There is no such thing as an alien invasion, like in Hollywood movies. Harvard professor Avi Loeb is the leader in the hypothesis that 3i Atlas could be an extraterrestrial object, or even a probe coming to observe us. Regarding this, I think it is normal to speculate, but there needs to be a clear quantitative basis. When making a hypothesis, you have to indicate what percentage of confidence it is. 100% or just 1%? If you do not make that clear, the public may be confused or misunderstand the issue. And if it turns out to be a false alarm, there will be a negative reaction because people will feel that they have worried and wasted their time. Therefore, when talking about risks like this, it is important to clearly define their level of feasibility so that the public can understand and evaluate them realistically. I know you have warned that if 3i Atlas gains more energy as it orbits the sun, it could indicate the possibility of an intelligent being controlling it so far. Are there any signs of that? At present, there is no clear evidence that any intelligence is behind this object. However, there are some observations that show that 3i Atlas seems to accelerate slightly as it moves around the sun, which has raised many questions. However, there are many reasonable scientific explanations for that phenomenon. It is possible that the comet broke up a small part or there was a sudden outgassing causing a slight thrust that caused a velocity to change. Therefore, this is not conclusive evidence, but only a guiding assumption to continue researching the possibility of intelligent life, but cannot conclude anything definitive. When asked about the next thing I was watching closely, I said the most obvious evidence, if any, would be an attempt to communicate from the object. If aliens were real, and they were sending out a signal that had a clear structure, such as a mathematical pattern or a regular radio signal, that would be the most convincing evidence. Of course, if the object landed on Earth and aliens came out like in Hollywood movies, then all the debate would be over. But more realistically, an intelligent, decipherable signal would be a real scientific breakthrough a convincing demonstration that we are not alone in the universe. In fact, there has been a lot of rumor and speculation surrounding the 3i Atlas issue. And the main message I want to send to the public is not to worry too much. However, when I tried to search for the name of this comet online, I discovered that there are many fake videos and documents, some of which even use my image and voice to make false statements. Uh, yes, now, we are talking about deep fake and AI generated technology that can mimic a human face and voice in a surprising way. These videos are created to fool the public into believing that I said or confirmed something that I never actually said. This is a serious challenge, not only for me, but for all scientists and media people as the line between real and fake is increasingly blurred due to AI technology. Yes, and the problem does not stop at deepfake. The current technology race between countries is also moving towards a field with much more profound impacts.
quantum computing. This is the real big risk in the future. Right now, the computer you're using is a digital computer. It operates based on two binary states, zero and one. But a quantum computer is completely different. It can handle any continuous value between zero and one, meaning an infinite number of states. This gives it enormous computational power, far beyond any digital system today. And for that reason, intelligence agencies like the CIA, FBI, and many other national security organizations are particularly worried when this technology reaches maturity, which could be in the next five, 10 or 15 years. It will be able to penetrate every existing digital system, including data encryption and sensitive information at the national level. That means, in principle, quantum computers can crack any type of encryption, even nuclear control codes, because while conventional computers only process binary values, zero and one, quantum computers operate on the entire continuum between zero and one. And within that range, there are countless values that can be exploited. This is the reason why cybersecurity experts around the world are warning and preparing for a post-quantum era where traditional security systems may become useless. And when it comes to the future and the mysteries of technology, it is impossible not to mention 3i, Atlas, while scientists still insist that this is just an ancient comet. There are countless conspiracy theories out there that it is a spy ship from a distant civilization, that the strange signals emitted from its orbit are actually messages sent to Earth, or even that it is not a random appearance, but a predetermined rendezvous in the universe. Whatever the truth, 3i Atlas is still getting closer. And it may only be a matter of time before humanity learns whether this is an ordinary meteor or the first sign of a great encounter. If you want to follow this story as it unfolds, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. I will create follow-up videos as new data becomes available. Leave a comment below and let me know what do you think? we will learn about this interstellar visitor. Will it survive perihelion intact? Or are we about to witness a fragmentation event? I have read all the comments and I'm really curious about your thoughts